Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another Strictly Come Dancing inspired makeup look as it was the first week of the actual competition. Um, so as I did a samba look for the very first one, I thought I wanted to do ballroom. This is kind of based, inspired by two waltzes that I really, really loved. Um, the first one was Naga and I just thought her dress looked amazing. I love the colours, so it's like a pastel blue-green. Um, so that's I got the inspiration for the lid part and she was a beautiful dancer as well. And then I absolutely love Daisy Low as well. And I thought her makeup, because she looked like she had like glitter silver liner and all around her eyes and it looked so pretty. So I incorporated that as well underneath the eyes. So it's kind of like two inspired things in one. Um, yeah, I thought the first week was amazing. So many ridiculously good dances. Um, some very entertaining ones and yeah so if you'd like to see how I got this waltz inspired Strictly Come Dancing makeup look then please just keep watching. Okay so first of all I'm taking my sleek correct and concealer palette and taking the corrector shade and popping this all over the lid to act as a primer and I also pop it a little bit underneath the eyes ready for the glitter. Then I take the powder from that palette and just set that all in place. I'm being quite lazy and just use my fingers to do that. Then I'm taking Makeup Revolution all about the bronze palette and taking this deep bronze shade to act as my transition shade, buffing this into the crease and above. So yeah, I absolutely love this first two shows. Amazing dances. They're all like really ridiculously good considering it was week one and I absolutely loved it. Um, let me know which we all was your favourite down below. Uh, I'm then going to take the MUA Shadow in Chestnut and pop this on a smaller brush into the crease. And I'll link down below my Samba look that I did for the launch of Strictly Come Dancing um, in case you missed that, which was very colourful and vibrant. And yes, I also pop that shade onto the outer lid as well. Then taking this Bee Stunning Cream Shadow in the shade Tropicana and just packing this all over the lid to act as my base for the other two pastel colours that I'm going to be using. If you'd like me to do any hair inspired looks from Strictly as well, um, just let me know because I can also do that. I'm then taking this Natural Cor Collection eyeshadow in the shade Mermaid, which is like a pastel blue colour, and pop this on the inner section of the eye. Then going with this other Natural Collection eyeshadow in the shade Spring Green, I pop this on the outer two thirds of the eye, blending into the blue to create a more of a dimension to the eye and I just absolutely love these shadows ridiculously inexpensive and ridiculously good as well um, so I absolutely love these shadows and then I'm taking the same brush I used for that chestnut colour just to help blend out the edges slightly then I'm going with this Lilo Loose Mineral Eyeshadow in the shade Orchid which is a very white shimmer shade and I initially put up this on the inner corners of the eye to act as an inner eye highlight and I then also patted it across the entire lid to create kind of a frosted look to the lid and I also used it as my brow bone highlight. I'm then taking my sleek liquid, no, gel liner in fact to create a very very small wing it's very thin and not particularly winged out because I obviously it's ballroom I want it to be very soft and gentle then for the lower lash line I'm taking the Barry M glitter in the shade 4 which is a very uh, silver glitter I'm literally packing this on the lower lash line as you see I'm not being very precise just literally packing it on and then I'll tidy it up in a second and it's just such a beautiful I absolutely love these barium glitters, I think they're amazing, I'll definitely be using them more in future um, Strictly Come Dancing and makeup looks. Then I'm taking a makeup wipe just to tidy up under there and create a more precise, well not, it's just a slightly more precise lower lash line. 
Then I'm taking this sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Waterproof to coat my upper and lower lashes. This has definitely become my new favourite mascara. Love it. I've been told that the original is much better than waterproof, so I'm desperate to try it out. And then I'm taking the Ardell Glamour Lashes and popping this on with Duo Glue. Onto the skin, I'm using this Bee Popping Serum. Um, which is like a serum slash primer and it's very illuminating as well as you can kind of see it creates a iridescence to the skin almost and I look really pretty in the foundation and then taking my collection illuminating touch foundation um, can't remember the shade name right now but it'll definitely be the lightest shade they do and just packing this all, buffing this all into the skin I'm taking that same sleek palette from earlier and I'm using the lighter shade, the actual concealer shade and popping this all under my eyes and down the centre of my face because it's much a much lighter concealer shade in comparison to the foundation so it creates a really pretty highlighting effect. Then actually to set it all, I'm taking my Lily Lolo Mineral Concealer in the shade Blondie just to give me some extra coverage and to also set the concealer in place. And then I'm taking my Barry M Chisel Cheats Contour Kit, taking the darker shade and contouring my face. Um, I went much lighter with this contouring than I usually do just because I wanted it to be slightly softer um, to keep in line with the ballroom, the waltz theme. Um, but I did still want to contour as I wanted to go all out. Then I'm going back into all about the bronze palette, taking this bronzy shimmery shade and literally I'm just bronzing up the entire face. For blusher I'm using my MUA blush it in the shade Bonbon and pop this on the usual places I put blusher. For highlight I wanted to go something different. I was going to go for a silver highlight to match the glitter but I decided to go opposite and go gold. So I'm taking my sleek precious metals highlighting palette which is very different for me because usually I like my solstice. I'm taking that cream shade first and popping that in all my usual places. So top of the cheekbones, down the centre of my nose, cupid's bow to act as a base and then I go in with the powder shade which is like a very, it looks very bronzy in the pan but it comes out like a beautiful gold colour I pop this on top of that cream shade I used earlier just to create some extra highlight <laughs> and pizzazz and then I'm taking my sleek lip pencil in rich brown to outline my lips and slightly fill them in I thought a nude lip would be best paired with this look and then I take my Colourpop Ultra Matte Lippy lip in vice, pop a little bit on and then blend it in with my fingers and then I go back in with that pencil just on the outer corner sections to create a slight ombre look and then I decided I wanted to add some gloss because I haven't done that in a while so I'm taking the Barry M, I think they're called Boss Glosses maybe in the shade, it's kind of like the nudie brown shade, I'm just popping that on top and then that completes this waltz ballroom strictly come dancing inspired makeup look i really hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you did let me know your favorite dances from this week and let me know if you do want me to include hair as well because i'd love to do that and let me know which dance you'd like me to do next and i'll think of some inspiration thanks for watching